Welcome to our video on how to interpret your text matches to paraphrasing. In this video, we look at which kinds of text matches are acceptable, which kinds are not, and how to revise your work when it comes to paraphrasing. Interpreting text matches is an important step to help you check whether your paraphrasing is sufficient. To see your text matches, click on the Originality Report in the top left of the document. In the document, you can see three different text matches. Let's look at the first one, which is highlighted in pink. You can see that this match is a problem and is an example of plagiarism because it does not have a citation. When you click on the number 2, which shows us a view of the original text, it is also a very close match to the original source. It seems as though the author has simply changed a few of the words and is presenting Craig's idea as their own. So how could you fix this match to make it a better paraphrase? When looking at your Turnitin originality report, it's best if you also have a copy of your draft work open too, so that you can make the changes as you go. The first step is to put in a citation. The next step is to work on the wording of the paraphrase. The aim is to show your understanding of the idea and to avoid using the same words as the original text. Here in the revised paraphrasing example, we have changed the wording of the sentence. You can see that the idea from Craig remains the same, that Rawls' principle and Plato's idea of human nature do not work together. However, by changing the wording we have managed to make our understanding of Craig's idea clearer. We have also managed to use fewer words, which can help with fitting into the assignment's word limit. After we have checked the remaining Turnitin text matches, we will put this revised work through Turnitin again to see if the paraphrase no longer has a text match. Let's now take a look at the other two text matches in the Turnitin originality report. First of all, we check for citations. We can see that the sentences that contain the red and the purple matches contain citations, so this is good. However, the text matches show that the paraphrasing is not good because too many non-technical words are the same as in the original text. So like we did with rewording the first paraphrase, we have to change the wording of these paraphrases to show how we understand the ideas. Once we have made those changes, we can put our revised version through Turnitin and check the new originality report. With this report, you can see that there are now no matches to the paraphrasing within the paragraphs. The only text matches are now to the references at the end of the document, which is good. So what we have seen is that you can use Turnitin to check your paraphrasing. It is very useful to edit your draft documents as you look through text matches to make sure that you have paraphrased enough and that you have given a correct citation for each paraphrase. For more information on how to paraphrase, check out the rest of the Academic Skills and Learning Centre's Turnitin Practice Wattle site. 